Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and I wanted to show you guys something really cool. As you've noticed uh, recently, I've been doing some video clips of some of my live streams right here, like this one right here, as well as these other two. These were all clips that I just made from the live streams themselves, and it's actually really easy. You don't need to download the videos to your computer or anything like that because YouTube already has a really awesome tool right here. Uh, called the video editor, which we're going to go ahead and pull up right now. Um, I'm just going to show you guys kind of an overview, but it'll show any videos you have that don't have a copyright claim on them right now. So you can just pick whichever video you want, and uh, you know you can start editing. And you can actually combine multiple clips too. So it's actually how I did my Mega Man 3 clips was uh, through this very method. But let's go ahead and just I don't know pick. Uh, this Doom video, I suppose. Why not? Uh, just as an example. So this is where it'll load up the video. <laughs> and uh, we'll just stop it there for a second. Um, obviously up here, you do get some different options uh, to adjust the quality and the filters and things like that if you want to. You're probably not going to mess with that too much for gaming videos. In fact, matter of fact, they'll probably make it look like crap unless... I don't know, unless you want to make it look like old-timey or something like that, I suppose you could. Um, then you can also add little text clips and things like that, um, anywhere you might want to do that. And you can also adjust the audio a little bit. Um, so there's some different options there, but the main thing I like to do is being able to just cut and edit a clip. Um, so here, here you have the timeline itself. This will show you any video clips that you have uh, in this area right here. So uh, this is very important. Um, that you can also edit audio in the same way too, so you can have separate audio only clips that you can do right there. As a matter of fact, I think, uh, no you can't do that, but if you had separate audio, you could do that, obviously. And, uh, here of course is the actual video playing thing itself. This is actually where you play the video, as you can see here, and whenever you highlight it, you actually have a little bar up on top. You can kind of skip more efficiently because Obviously, it's a two-hour video, and it's going to be pretty difficult to skip along it, so uh, that's pretty handy. Um, then, not last but not least, of course, uh, you also have the little uh, magnifying glass here at the bottom, which will expand the size of your timeline, and you'll see a little bar you can scroll across as well. This will be pretty handy. Now, you notice while the video is playing here, you do get a little option here where it says split clip, and uh, that's definitely something that's going to be very handy here. Um, so let's go ahead and skip ahead to, I don't know, a random point in the video. The Halo but multiplayer. Because why not? Alright, so let's just There's do this here. here. I'll just make a clip of uh, me playing multiplayer. Why not? Let's uh, cut it right here. So, <laughs> now that we've got that, you can zoom this out so you can kind of get an overview of everything. We're just going to go ahead and delete all that original stuff. Alright, so it's going to play like a little clip of us I playing a deathmatch. Oh yeah, which that's another thing I'll have to give you guys a tip on later on, the whole uh, being able to make the thing talk and record in the video. But we're going to go ahead and uh, skip ahead just a little bit. I don't want it to all be part of the same. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good, I think. We'll just, uh, we'll say we'll cut it there. Okay, so we've got a uh, 6 minute and 47 second clip right there. You can obviously tailor it to your needs, place things wherever you need to place them, right? So, uh, let's go ahead and look at some stuff here. If you want to take some Creative Commons videos, these are basically videos that are not copyright claimed that you can freely use, even if you're monetizing. Um, you can take any such videos like that or you can search for them. Um, if you're looking for Creative Commons footage for anything particular, you can just search for it right there. Um, then we have a photo. If you want to add a photo, like kind of place it in front of the video, um, this is where you do it. You, know, you can click add more photos and it'll open up a photo library thing. I think by default it uses your Google Plus profile, but it, you can also upload your own photos and things like that too. Uh, or you can use this, of course, add. Yeah, it's the same thing, exactly. It's essentially okay. Um, then if you want to add some music uh, in the background, here you go. You can add some different tracks. You can also search for them as well. Um, so that's really useful. Now this right here is pretty nice. This is the transition system. So 
Um, even though this is a basic video editor, you do get a lot of really cool little transitions that you can do. So let's say we don't want a 6 minute and 47 second clip. Um, let's just go ahead and... So let's say we'll cut it right here. Okay. And let's skip ahead to... Okay, so we got this whole 11 second thing. So what we can do is we can add a transition right here. Let's go ahead and add a, I don't know, let's make it a crossfade. You can just kind of drag it in between and just watch it happen. See, it fades it in automatically for you. And that's really cool. And you can adjust how long it takes a fade to do with this little timeline thing here. You can close that, of course. You can do all kinds of different transitions. I mean, there's not like, a whole huge variety but there's plenty enough to kind of flavor up your video uh, so we're gonna go ahead and add some text and let's go ahead and do that so we're just gonna add some text uh, about right here and just uh, put it right here I guess and you can type in some text watch me new it up Okay, so it'll add that text on, obviously. There we go. You can split it again if you want there. And that way we can take the text out of this clip here. We don't need the text here. So, there we go. We'll close that up too. Actually, the text is still there, I guess. Let's just go ahead and delete it there. No, it's not there, obviously. Okay. So, let's just go ahead and watch it again. See? That's pretty cool, isn't it? So, you could do various little things like that. And, of course, you can use little keyboard shortcuts as well. So, you know, you've basically got a video clip. Um, if you're satisfied with what you've got, of course, then all you have to do is go up to the very top here and name your project. All right, and click Create Video. So, it's going to process the video for you automatically. Uh, at this point, all you have to do is go to Info and Settings. And you can add in your description, tags, and you know you can set up a message for Google, Facebook, uh, Twitter, all that good stuff for it to automatically post. You can do your translations, monetization, all that good stuff, you know. And there you go, you've got a video. Now it does take a little while for it to process. Depending on how long the clip is, it's gonna take longer, but YouTube's gonna handle the rest for you at this point. So you successfully created a YouTube video editor clip. Uh, this is extremely handy for if you do live streams or any other kind of long form of video like that. And you want to take segments of that video and kind of make it their own thing. So I definitely recommend you check that out. And if you appreciated this tutorial video, don't forget to support this channel. Um, and thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, watching. <laughs> thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, but till then, down Phoenix out.